Ever have your users struggle to find the right records in Salesforce using global search? It's a common challenge, but we've got a creative twist to tackle it. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Lee, Lead Admin Evangelist. And in this exciting episode of How I Solved It, we're diving into the genius mind of awesome admin D. Urban, who turned a frustrating problem into a simple, elegant solution. Now imagine this, your team can't find crucial records and productivity is taking a hit. What do you do? You get creative. These innovative approach for enhancing global search will blow your mind and make you rethink how you solve everyday challenges in Salesforce. Today, I'm joined by awesome admin Dee Irvin. Dee is a returning guest on How I Solved It. So if you missed her episode, check out the short link that you see on the screen to check it out. Now let's get to know you a bit better before we dive into your use case and solution. So you've been in the Salesforce ecosystem for over 10 years, Dee. You and I have been around the block for a while. What advice do you have for admins who are just getting started? And what advice would you wish your future, more experienced D-toad, your newbie admin D? Oh, yes. I've thought about this, actually, because I've looked back at old solutions. For Basically, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Salesforce <laughs> is very exciting. There's a lot of ways and a lot of directions to go. And it's exciting to learn something new and build it out, but it doesn't mean it's the right way to go. Um, also, um, along with that, it's very easy to o- over-engineer a solution. Yeah. So but I'm losing focus on what the users actually want and need. And then lastly, so basic, but definitely needed. If you're creating a pick list twice for two different objects, promote to global pick list values. <laughs> it I makes love- life so much easier. Yes. Yes. Instead of yeah. like creating it over and over again. Yes. Over Absolutely. Keeping it aligned. <laughs> right. Love that. Um, and I love how you came up with a creative way to solve the business problem that we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, when you're presented with a business challenge, how do you go about coming up with the solution? Take me into the mind of D. Yeah. So whenever um, there's any business problems presented, I'm first wondering how or what is the best way for users to interact with the solution? And if there is a way that I can either build something out or find an app on App Exchange that nicely integrates with their process, I'm looking to that first. And then the other piece is um, how easy is it to maintain? Especially with smaller teams, you need a way to have a solution out there that the resources can be shared or it's easier to maintain. And then lastly, uh, scalability. I don't want to have to rebuild it a thousand times every time something changes. So these are three things I always look to. And um, I, I've i definitely spoken about this. Probably people are tired of hearing about it. <laughs> it's like, yes, user experience, maintenance, and scalability. Good advice. So share with us the business problem that you're trying to solve. What I found was that uh, users were not able to find records in a custom object I built. So I started to look through some of the permissions, but I realized the key issue was that the fields they were searching for were not actually searchable. Mm -hmm. And I found that through some research in Salesforce help articles. So the first thing I needed to do was try to figure out how can we make these records searchable? All right, so my favorite part, demo time. Show us what you built. Dee, take it away. So for this solution, it's actually really simple. And this is why I love it so much. It's simple, but has a pretty big impact on the team. So the first thing that I did to build out the solution is I created a field that has been advised as searchable, and that would be a text field. In this case, I created a long text area. And this field is meant to be hidden on the page layout because it's purely for functionality. I want users to be able to search, 
by the information that is in this field. The next piece is populating this field. That can be done by a simple before save flow. So when I go over to my flow, you'll see there's only the trigger element and then an assignment element. Since this is a before save flow, there's no need to do a DML action or DML element. Those are the pink ones. Um, I actually can move forward with an assignment to assign this value before the record is saved due to a different change made on the record. So if I open up this start element, I simply added the object that this field would be contained on or the object whose fields were not searchable. And I configured it to start whenever the record is created or updated. There's no other conditions required for this. And again, I optimized the flow for fast field updates or as a before safe flow. The next element is for assigning keywords. So for this piece, I created the assignment element, but also a formula element to accompany it. So let me go into the formula so you can see what that looks like. This formula contains all of the key fields that my users advise that they need access to for searching. These are all of the logical kind of field values that they would use to try to find records or get a full scope of records that apply to that value. Things like first name, last name, email, phone, and that sort of thing. When I show you the object, you'll see that we have a relationship with the contact within the object. That is the vehicle owner in this case. And from that, there are various formula fields that contain email and phone and items pulled from the contact. This data formula fields are not searchable. And these are some of the items that users needed to search by. So I've embedded a formula within the flow to concatenate all of these values and allow users to search. This assignment element is just simply adding that formula value to the keyword search field on the record. And that is the flow. So let me show you what it looks like in action. So I have a few records here um, that are my vehicle records. And as I mentioned, they are related to a vehicle owner, which is a contact. Currently, I have this keyword search field on the page layout. This is only for testing purposes. Normally, what users will see is they won't even see this. They will just be able to search. So um, again, for testing purposes, I'm just going to add in a few items here. And let's see if I remember models here and save. So upon saving, you'll see that the keyword search was populated with some of the items that users search for. Now, because I wanted to demo this, um, how it works without this keyword search and with this keyword search, I left out one of these fields that are not normally searchable to understand what results users normally get when this field is not in place. So I did not include the make. So if I were to search for the make here, I get no results whatsoever because make is actually in a non-searchable field, which is a pick list here. Now, if I were to search instead by something that is in the keyword search, like this email address, then I will get not only the vehicle that belongs to that 
um, that has that email address as a value, but I'll also get the contact as well. For reference, email fields and phone number fields are searchable. However, because the vehicle object utilizes formulas to capture this data from the lookup record for this vehicle owner, these fields become not searchable. And that is how I solved it. To recap, identify the fields your users are most likely to search by, create a searchable field data type on your object, such as text, and lastly, create a record triggered flow to run before the record is saved to populate your new text field. Back to you, Jen. Great. Thank you, Dee, for showing us how you creatively solve the issue where records weren't coming up in the global search with a fairly simple solution. And not all solutions need to be complex, as we talked about earlier. So thank you so much, Dee, for being a guest on How I Solved It. Thank you, Jen. You just saw Dee use a text field and a record trigger flow to help her users search and find records with ease. Dee's solution isn't just smart, it's brilliantly simple. And guess what? We've got tons more where that came from. So make sure to visit admin.salesforce.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Salesforce Admins, so you will never miss another episode of How I Solved It. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep being awesome admins. Awesome admins.